Moonin. Moonin. What's your name? My name is Selen. Selen. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. Yeah. Have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have two brothers. They're older than me, and they're both in their 40s. Okay. And yeah. Did you grow up with your parents, mum and dad? Yeah, I grew up with both of them. Yeah. It's born and bred in. Born and bred in Hackney. Always been from Hackney. Yeah. Okay. So, did you go to school? Yeah, I went to school, mm. um, but it wasn't for me, to be honest. Um, dropped out halfway through. But I regret it quite a lot. Um, hanging around with the wrong people, you know. But obviously, I got out of that lifestyle, and yeah, I think I'm doing a bit better now on my own. You know what I mean? So yeah, they didn't get me nowhere in life. You know, they were quite really bad people. Just always like smoking and um, that robbing people. You know, so. You see, when I started seeing that, I had to get myself out of that. Yeah, so obviously I, I wasn't into none of that mm. once I saw it. So. Mm. At what year did you drop out of school? Uh, I dropped out when I was about 15. Okay. Yeah, and then um, I went. I got myself into another school, mm. um, but then I dropped out of that as well. And then um, I tried like to go to college and stuff do courses but it wasn't for me to be honest but um yeah obviously I started getting into trouble a lot with like the police and stuff but um obviously I've got myself away from that now so yeah I'm not about that life no more mm. you know I'm just like I've got a daughter and that as well now um she's about three now but yeah I'm just trying to focus on you know doing doing what's right and where was she where's your daughter she's with um, she's basically adopted at the moment, but obviously I did try to fight for her, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't let me have. They gave me access to her to see her and stuff, but they wouldn't let me have her for some reason. So yeah, that broke me to pieces. And then that's when I went off, off the railings. Like I was like doing bad things. I was like, you know, I was just. I wasn't myself. But, um, but yeah, after that, obviously, I just picked myself back up and started doing doing my like doing stuff for myself like the right stuff so what was the reason for not letting you oh cuz i was like i was basically on drugs okay. i was on drugs what at drugs the time i was on heroin and crack at what age did you start taking i started when i was 17 yeah it's not it's not nice it's it's a it's a bad drug it's not nice at all. I mean, when you're when you're taking it, you're stuck in that position, isn't it? You just take it and take it, and then obviously you get bored of it for a while, and you think that there's no point in me taking it. Like it don't get you nowhere. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's not doing nothing for no one. It's just, it's just like it's just you know. It, it, look, basically got my t my child taken away from me, which it it hurt me a lot, and um. Basically, I'm just, I really regret it now because, yeah, I got my daughter's adopted. I think about it all the time because of that drug. My daughter got taken away from me, so, yeah. How made you take that drug at Sophie? To be honest, it was like one guy got me onto it. And then since then, I started craving it. And I just went out chasing it, like, I was just looking, like, who's got it, like, who can get it for me and then obviously I started smoking it and every day it was like I just yeah just started smoking every every day every other day and then it, I got hooked on it and then I couldn't get back off of it do you know what I'm saying so um, yeah since then I've been hooked on it so yeah so how did you get your money to find it? Um, I get my money from the benefits. That's how I, that's how I pay for it. So um, the benefits enough that covers your habit. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So they're giving out enough money to cover a drug habit. Basically, it's not for drugs, but I I used to spend half of it on my drugs habit, and then half of it would go on my rent. 
and then the rest would probably go on food, like, you know, like my house stuff. I used to get my hair done, my nails done, and that would cover it all, so. Okay, well, what would you have to do in order to get your daughter back? To be honest, I would have to go and get a good solicitor. That's for one, get a good solicitor. Um, and just go and find, yeah, go and find a good solicitor. Tell them my, what's happened with my daughter, I want my daughter back. Like, you know, like I have to be clean for at least a year and then try and get her back through my solicitor. That's the only way that I have, that's the only way that I've had to do it, that I have to do it, so. Can you get clean for that year? Um, I might be able to do it. I don't know because some some of the days I'm not as strong as what I think and what people tell me I am. So I don't I don't really know because because um I'm not even right now I'm living in a hostel, so I'm not really. I don't think I'm in that state of mind to be looking after my child, my daughter, to be honest. When you took that first hit, did you not think to yourself, this could be a bad, bad, bad mistake? No, not, not at all, because I didn't, I didn't have no, nothing to worry about. I didn't have no, I don't know how to say it, I didn't have no... Understanding of what you were doing? Yeah, basically. So you grew up with your mum and your dad? Yeah. Good household, yeah. nothing was wrong, mm -mm. your parents were targeting you. Yeah. You had your two brothers, everything was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what made you take drugs? I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even, I didn't get it. I didn't know what it was. I just started doing it and then I got hooked on it and, yeah, and then I started hanging around with those type of people that was, like, encouraging me and I, and I didn't really feel nothing. I just, I just kept on doing it and then, obviously, yeah. So, I don't know. To get your daughter back, you've got to come off it. I know. So, what are you going to do? That's, that's what I'm planning on doing, yeah. You can't plan it? No, do. no, I do want to do it. Yeah, I do. But I can't do it on my own. I need, like, I need some sort of support. Like, I need at least my key worker or support worker to support me in doing it. Are they doing that? Mm, yeah. So I've just started because I, I was in I was in jail for for a little while and then just literally come out. So what was that for? Um, that was for fighting. Okay. I was in an argument and then some stuff just happened and I was there at the wrong time and then I got involved and then I got arrested the next day. It took me to to the police station, took me to court, straight to jail, and then I got out. Is that your first time in job? Mum, second. Second, okay. Yeah. Apart from I'm getting your daughter back, is there something that you would like to achieve in the future? Um, I don't know, you know, to be honest. I don't know, I just, to be honest, I would like to achieve a lot, but there's one thing I would like to achieve, is, and that's just getting my daughter back. That's the one thing. Apart from that, there's nothing really else to achieve. So stopping a drug will get your daughter back? And yeah, and stopping a drug, yeah. So when I, when I met you, where was you going? What, just now? Yeah. Going to pick up. And then going back home. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's not good, is it? But... Well, I wish you luck. Mm. Thank you, darling.